In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create six options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here I've added one image in the center and then I can add six options depending on my requirement. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes from the rectangles. I'm going to choose this rectangle and click it here. Go to the shape format and I'm going to increase the height and width to 7.5 inches. And shape outline, make it no outline, then align center, align middle. So you can see here the shape has been added exactly in the center of the slide. Then let me just zoom out this one then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the rectangle once again i'm going to add one rectangle all right give some different color and make sure to make it no outline then align center align middle i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and i'm going to give some different color again align center align middle all right and then i'm going to rotate it with the help of the alt and the right arrow key on the keyboard so select the object hold the alt key and one two three times you need to uh, click it the right arrow key and then you can see here the size is not enough it should go uh, beyond this rectangle for that let me just increase the size you can see here i'm increasing the size again align center align middle all right now you can see here this has crossed the the boundaries of this rectangle press ctrl d to duplicate again align center align middle and again alt one two and three times press ctrl d it's already duplicated again alt one two and three times so i end up getting a shape which looks like this now what i'm going to do is just for our sake uh, you know if something goes wrong we can have one duplicate slide okay so i have duplicated the slide so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select all the shapes by pressing ctrl a okay ctrl a to select all the all the shapes then go to the shape format merge shape and i'm going to click on the fragment all right so i end up getting a shape like this so now i know i don't need this one so i'm just going to simply delete this part all these objects which i don't need you can see here and when i click here also i'm going to just delete this one you can see here and this one also and below also i'm just going to delete this i don't want it at the bottom i'm going to add one image there okay that is also delete from the center now one more thing which i would like to do is i'm going to add one oval shape draw one oval shape by holding the shift key exactly in the center you need to align it again make sure to no outline align center align middle again if you want more bigger size you can increase it by holding the control shift key okay like this now again i'm going to select all the shapes all right control a to select all the shapes again go to the shape format merge shape and again i'm going to make it fragment all right now again i don't need this one you can simply delete this part you can see here all right then what you can do is you can just fill this with any color of your choice so i'm just going to fill with some random colors so you can see here some random colors i'm choosing all right and then this also all right and then one more thing you can do is you can add some image you can insert some image okay from the device or from the online pictures i have already have one picture so i'm just going to paste this one here so you can see here i have added this particular image in the center again if you want to add some shadow effect so i'm going to select these rectangles with the help of the shift key press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to say press ctrl g to group it and then go to the format shape and i'm going to fill this color with black color and increase the transparency here all right and then i'm just going to move it like this you can see here all right and then send to back all right so you can see here and then ungroup this one group and ungroup all right so you can see here i've got the shadow effect i've got the image in the center now it's time to add some icons and add some text to it so let me just zoom in this one fit slide okay then go to insert icons 
I'm going to choose any uh, six icons uh, for this particular slide depending on your requirement so I'm randomly again I'm going to choose some icons here some random icons you can see here six click insert bring this aside and I'm going to make this as 0.6 all right and then you can just add one by one the icons here you can see here you need to just add the icons and make sure this to change the color to white and give this color as white and then go to insert text box you can add title and detail text okay all right so let me just reduce the font size and center align and i'm going to put it here and make this font also white or black depending on your requirement so any color you can choose it so i'm just going to add this one you can see here one by one you need to just place it done so we have uh, done the design now it's time to add some animation for that let me just group this one you can see here press ctrl g so it becomes one group now i'm going to select this one this one hold the shift key and group it press ctrl g again this one this one you can see here i'm just selecting one by one and i'm going to group it press ctrl g you can see here with the help of the shift key you can you can select the multiple objects all right and press ctrl g right close this one go to the animations enable the animation pane and then maybe this one should come out first so i'm going to make it fly in fly in should come from the bottom that's perfect and this one you can add any uh, animation effect to this one you have got what wide variety of uh, animations so go to the animation more entrance effects and you've got different animations here you can see here I can just select stretch or rise up float whichever you want you can just select maybe I can use a wipe click OK and the wipe should from left it comes like this and this should happen after previous so now with the help of the animation painter I can just click like this you can see here or double click this one and click it on each object you can see here all right and now if I play sorry one two you can see here so this animation should come actually after this one okay so that also you can just align it properly that's it so if you want you can add more options or some different graphics to it